Hi folks, Dave here. All Power sent me this SF100 solar panel. It's a flexible monocrystalline solar panel. It only weighs 5.29 pounds, so it's quite lightweight and easy to transport. All Powers does not pay me sales commissions for making this review, so I'm just going to give you my honest opinion. I'm going to give this thing a try. I do need a flexible solar panel for an upcoming project. The number one failure point in my experience for a flexible solar panel is not the solar panel itself, but it's the junction box. This solar panel is supposed to be IP68 rated. So that means that this junction box needs to be dust tight and it needs to be able to handle water to a depth of about one meter for around a half an hour or something like that. It's no joke that this solar panel is flexible. You can definitely bend it. And I'm not gonna try to bend it in a U-shape or anything like that. I don't see the point. It's made of layers of plastics which are deposited on top of one another and encapsulating the solar cells. There are grommets on the edge of the solar panel for fastening it down. I suppose you could attach it to a building or to a vehicle. They look pretty secure. The solar panel comes with a number of Velcro ties and a really nice cable for connecting to a solar generator and it has a XT60 connector. I've been looking at the MC4 connectors. They look okay. They're not about to fall off. They're tightly crimped on. I've seen these just fall off, but these are tightly crimped. The wire is real PV wire. Looks good quality. I don't have a problem with the connectors at all. There is the label on the back. You can see it's 100 watts, 30 volts open circuit, and about 25 volts max power voltage. It is 9 o'clock in the morning in late November. Let's see what this solar panel can do under such conditions. I'm getting 84 watts, and this is in the morning. This is like 9 o'clock in the morning. I cannot believe it. Actually, I'm really surprised. I've just got it on a ladder, and I've got my test load running. I'm not really believing the numbers on that meter, so I'm going to check the amps with a clamp meter. No, they're correct. To be clear, I did not expect anything like 80 watts in the morning in such conditions in November, but I'll take it. Alright, so 9.15 in the morning and I'm getting 81 watts. That's really, really good. It's November, so the sun is not the best either. I'm very impressed with this solar panel, I'm going to tell you that. I'm not going to hide it. So this has me thinking the power output is pretty decent, but what about the IP68 rating and how am I going to test that? Immersing this panel in three feet of water is not a reasonable test, but blasting it with a spray gun is. And after going through all of that, the solar panel performs exactly as it should. Same output, same performance. So I would say I give it a thumbs up and it passed the test. At 11 a.m. on the same day, I performed a second test to see what the power output would be. The solar panel was still wet from the IP68 test earlier. And in fact, I got 91 to 93 watts of power output without much effort. This solar panel has passed my short-term testing. I will be doing a long-term durability test outdoors. That will take about a year. If you like this solar panel, there's a 5% discount code in the description. Please keep in mind that I do not accept sales commissions to avoid bias. Thanks for watching my review, and thanks to All Powers for providing the product sample. Hope to see you next time.